A data flow diagram is a type of flow chart that illustrates how data is processed by a system in terms of inputs and outputs. It is useful when it is necessary to document the flow of data within a currently used system or a system that is in the process of being built. A data flow diagram can be helpful for software engineers and operations personnel, and anyone can create an informative, professional looking data flow diagram quickly and easily using SmartDraw. To get started, select New Document and then Software Design and open the data flow template. The template contains a smart panel customized with symbols for building it. These symbols include the four data flow diagram notations for process, data store, data flow, and external entity. Processes transform incoming data flow into outgoing data flow. Data stores are repositories of data in the system. Data flows are pipelines through which packets of information flow and external entities are objects outside the system with which the system communicates. They are sources and destinations of the system's inputs and outputs. Data flow diagrams can have several nested layers. A single process node on a diagram can be expanded to show a more detailed data flow diagram. We'll create a context diagram first. A context diagram is a top-level data flow diagram that contains one process node that generalizes the function of the entire system in relationship to external entities. You can add a symbol to your drawing by selecting it in the library and then clicking anywhere on the page. You can add more shapes using the traditional drag and drop method, or once you've already added a symbol, you can add new ones by drawing a line and choosing a symbol from the auto prompt that appears. Click any of the yellow dots at the perimeter of a shape to start drawing a line and add a new shape from the menu that pops up. This menu is pre-populated with the most common symbols for the selected diagram type. The options will change over time to symbols you commonly use, so you'll always have what you need at your fingertips. Just type while the symbol is selected to add text. Once you've added all of the external entities, you may want to add some style to the diagram. Choose one of the great looking themes up here in the ribbon. Now we can nest the next level diagram. Creating subprocesses makes it easier to explore a complex system. To do this, select the shape that you want to link from and click Create Subprocess here in the Smart Panel. A new page is automatically added to your document. Click this hyperlink symbol to navigate between the main context diagram and the subprocess. Another way to do this is to add a new page by clicking on this plus symbol above the work area and choosing New Page. We'll add one of our templates as a new page. You can add titles and descriptors to your diagrams rather than use page numbers. Then right click on a shape that you want to link from and choose Add Hyperlink. In this dialog box, you can link to one of the pages within your document or link to an external file or website. Just like before, click on the hyperlink symbol to navigate to the subprocess. When you're done adding all of your subprocesses, the resulting system is easy to navigate and understand. And these links stay intact when you share your SmartDraw files with others. If you need to visualize the flow of an information system or data process, create a data flow diagram. They're easy to build and share and will look great every time when you're using SmartDraw.